everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now this isn't available in the UK yet, but it is available in America and it's priced at 499 for the 16 gigabyte version, 599 for 32 gigabytes or 699 dollars for the 64 gigabyte version that we're looking at here. Now I have downloaded and installed a lot of applications on this. I've actually populated the other screens with the apps that I've downloaded and I will be bringing you reviews of individual applications over the next few days. But for now this product tour is going to concentrate primarily on the Apple supplied applications and we can kick things off with the calendar. Really nice redesign. We can choose from day view, week view, month view and list view. Nicely uh, designed interface to this. We go back out to the home screen and we've got the contacts which again uh, this can synchronize with the contacts on your computer I haven't done that as yet but a nice uh, designed interface to the contacts app then if we go into notes this is for just taking quick notes down I just want to tap on the screen here and this shows you the uh, portrait format keyboard and it's a nice size um, very easy to type on you do have to concentrate a little bit with this size, especially if you've got bigger fingers. But if I rotate this round into the landscape format, you see it does react very quickly to the turn. And now you've got a really nice size keyboard here for tapping out notes. I just want to show you this in use. really really quick nice to use no mistakes there it comes up with um, uh, suggestions as you type if I tap on the keyboard down the bottom there it does actually disappear so you get a full view of what you've been typing tap again on the screen keyboard pops up again let's go back out into that portrait view and we've got the maps application not going to show you that in this video uh, but this is just the Google Maps app then we've got videos and again I've got a couple of videos here these are actually podcasts so let's set one playing and in this portrait view we get a list of any extra videos that are associated with this down this left hand panel and then the main video here and then if we tap play well, first, it will actually uh, play this in portrait view and if I rotate around again then it does play it in the landscape view. If I double tap it will actually zoom in to get rid of the black borders top and bottom. Tap again and it goes back to its original format. If I tap here then I'm given the controls, I'm given a slider where I can actually slide across to another portion of the video. I can pause, I can obviously skip backwards and forwards or I can tap done to go back out to that list view with all of the other videos. Let's go back out to our home screen again, back around to landscape view, and we're going to have a look at YouTube. Now, if I tap into the search bar, let's search for some of my videos. And here we've got a list of my videos and I can scroll through the list I can tap to start playing one back it actually plays back in this top portion here and whilst the video is playing back I can use these tabs to look at related videos more from the same uh, director comments for that video or back to the info screen you can even when you're in that comments view you can even add a comment so I'm going to this box and add a comment to the video if I want and then play it back plays back very nicely so that's all in uh, portrait view if we go round into landscape view it pops the video into full screen and again I can double tap to zoom in double tap to zoom back out I can pause play 
tapping this icon here. Not sure what that does actually. So, and we can click done to say that we've finished. And then it actually re um, distributes the content for this landscape view. So we can scroll up and down the comments, look at related videos, more from the same director. We can scroll up and down in this portion here, which gives me some info about the video tags and the category, etc. Or we can go back to search for more videos. So really nice user experience for YouTube. Now we're going to stay in this landscape view and we can access the iTunes store. And here we can look at the featured music, top charts, or even tap on Genius and it bring across some Genius suggestions. And then onto the App Store, and this is one area I'm not going to be able to bring you any details on because we're in the UK. The App Store for the um, UK is not yet activated, so the only way I'm able to download apps at the moment is on my Mac. And then we go back out to the home screen and pop into settings and this is where you can set up all of the various um, uh, configuration options for the iPad. Uh, not going to go through all of them here but some that are a little bit different from what we've been used to is we've got some picture frame settings uh, which means that when the iPad is actually locked so if I actually do that now let's go back out to the home screen and lock it. When we go to wake it up we've got either slide to unlock or we can actually activate the picture frame option and this will actually uh, turn this into a digital photo frame and this will cycle through the photos that you've got stored on your device so really nice additional feature for this is when it's not in use you could sit it on a stand and use it as a photo frame well that's the main applications I've covered in this uh, first video for you I'm going to be doing another video in a short while where I'll be covering Safari, the internet browser, mail, photos and also the iPod features of the Apple iPad. Well thanks very much for watching. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.